I do see myself someday maybe living on a farm and just like having homeless dogs <laughs> everywhere. Some people have ranches with 500 dogs and I probably would have 501, so. My name is Ray Chow. I was born on April 3rd. I lost my parents at a relatively young age. That, that's a very defining event, obviously, and I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I think anyone who has lost a parent realizes how kind of uh, life-changing that is. And then when you lose your second parent was this uh, sense of finality. And um, I mean, kind of like, I kind of would joke about it, like, oh, I'm an orphan now, you know? Um, I had a very good relationship with my parents. Even if you may not have had the best relationship with your parents, I think once your parents are gone, you lose this groundedness, or at least I did. The only two people in the world that I could always count on and would always root for me were my parents. I kind of lost that anchor. You know, I think about it pretty much every day in my life, so it has been really significant. I want to focus on, you know, things that make me feel better as a person and better as a person in our world. Sometimes when you read about the news or what's going on in the world, it can get very disheartening. I try to remain optimistic and I try to think, well, how can I, how can I change things? I may not be able to move mountains or may not, you know, be able to uh, resolve the world's problems, but what can I do as an individual? I can be a little bit more friendly, be a little bit more patient, not worry so much about things I can't control. I think everyone has a purpose in life. I think the, the harder question is, what is your purpose? And I think it can change. Purpose, to me, is linked very much to opportunity. I feel like I'm kind of uh, the type of person that makes opportunities. But more importantly, I'm open to opportunities. I think there's nothing worse than a wasted opportunity. Being so myopic or just um, self-absorbed, I think that happens a lot in our culture, that you kind of miss opportunities to help other people or to make yourself a better person or simply just enjoy life. I often reflect on um, where I'm going or, or who I am today, and it's, it's not an easy question. I think it's very hard to be self-reflective. That question is always for me in the context of who am I relative to what my parents would want me to be. Would my parents be proud of me? Uh, my parents, like many immigrant families, sacrificed a tremendous, just so much. They, they came to this country with no money, no language skills, and they left their family to start a family and raise uh, a family that they didn't even have yet in the greatest country in the world. I have never done anything that significant for anyone. I don't want to take that for granted at all. I don't want to take that sacrifice for granted. Be so self-absorbed that I don't realize that that's a debt that I have to pay back. In order to do that, I have to not only be the best person that I think I am, but I have to be the best person that I think my parents would want me to be. Happy birthday to everyone and anybody born on April 3rd. Thank you for watching. We're uploading an episode every single day featuring a different person. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support.